push friction pegs on my worst. I mean, well, there's some in politics I'd wish it on. Anyways, but no, dude, no, no, no. So this is today, that's yesterday. The rest of this video, if you choose to watch it, was an epic fail. It was hype, it had visions of grandeur. I should call this, I should call this visions of grandeur. So I just basically took these dowel rods, which thankfully just happened to fit in those holes, glued them in there, sanded them down, ordered four bass guitar tuners from Ronnie James Diode on eBay. <laughs> I gotta show him this video. So we're gonna turn this into a baritone Baroque. Baritone bass Baroque, four strings, but three of two of them are gonna be doubled. So those are in the mail. In the meantime, before you watch this video, if you choose to watch this video, I would just turn the video off. Epic fail, laugh it up. I don't mind being laughed at. I went ahead and just put um, some corner appointments on here. The patent is a hot sauce guitar kitchen, cozy little leather rest so when you're when you're drilling away see oh, seriously that's because I got stuff hanging all over the place this right here and then the corner piece right here I got the back on boom I'm uh, gonna get it it's long this is a long box dude look so cool, cool, cool. Um, what I'm doing now is, before we start this video and you laugh it up, uh, I have taken the patented ship's captain's wheel, which which will play which will play into Sea Monster. This was a a character, uh, an important character in Sea Monster. It's also something I gleaned a lot of wisdom from at the funeral of Chuck Missler, who was in the Navy, by the way. And towards the end of his career at the Navy, he began to be very disillusioned by the Navy, by some of the things that they were doing. And he was not as hyped about being in the Navy as he was when he first signed up, which is sad. Um, great biblical teacher, dude. Great man. So. I basically, can you see that on there, the penciling? So I penciled this on here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I penciled those, the handles around the sound hole and I'm just gonna burn them in here. So check this video out. This video is about why you should, oh, this fell off, look. That came from my, my, my wife's dad, Don, Don, Donald. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this is he didn't know anything about cigar box guitars he just had this in his basement you know how grandpa's have stuff socked away I'm gonna wood burn this I used a um, popsicle stick as the as the template and basically look Stay the course. That's what that's what this means, dude. Stay the course in life. <laughs> in the in the current political climate. Uh, um, I took this, laid it next to here, and basically just kind of traced the basic shape. And then I traced I traced this over onto here. Getting the spacing correct, believe it or not, was a little challenging. Because there's only six of these, so. So one here, and then there's one here, and then there's one here. I'm just gonna burn them in. So, okay. Again, I, I would I would not encourage you to watch this video. I would I actually discourage you to watch this. I'm thinking about just erasing it. But hey, dude, we gotta we gotta log in our good ideas and our bad ideas because sometimes we learn from our bad ideas. Stay the course. <laughs> What do we have here? Is this a present from the fiddlershop.com? It's not a present. Had to pay cash money for this one. All right. 
ready for this. The Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, AKA Hot Sauce Cigar Box Guitar Kitchen Doomsday Bunker Lighthouse Food Truck Smoker Pizza Oven. I'm getting crazy about wanting to, to build a pizza oven, like a legit brick pizza oven. Walk. <laughs> the Hot Sauce Cigar Box Guitar Kitchen. That's too long, dude. Try it again. No, just keep it old school, what we originally called it, dude. Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen. Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen. Friction pegs. Ooh, raise your hand if you are hype. Hyped. Dude. Dun, dun, dun. These are the big ones, too. These guys are probably wondering why I ordered these big, giant, big, giant ones. Look. Oh. And then I got some strings to kind of... You had to like order so much, you know, to get free shipping. You know how they do you like that? It's great add on sales. It's a great salesy thing. So I added these on here. So look, let's do this. Cool. What's that Richards? What? The friction pegs. Friction pegs, dude. size too. I don't know, well, I'm working on it, dude. Richard is missing his EVH 5150 head that had to go the way of the dodo bird. It's a long story. It's a, it's a sad story. We'll get you all hooked up. All right, so check this out. Cool. So I didn't know what size to get. I didn't know whatever. These were cheap so this is thick and i didn't really know what to do with these so look the idea being here is if they're too long or whatever then we'll just uh, cut them down but um yeah dude that's these are like ebony these are real uh i said well, that's kind of nasty dude but they're hard, dude. Hard as a rock. Ebony's no joke. All right, so look. The idea being here is... Did I say the idea being here is? Is to drill a hole smaller on top. It's like the violin. Drill a hole smaller on top, bigger in the bottom, and then put these up through here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to notch these. Here, let me show you. I'm only working off of one set of plans. Two, four, six, eight. I got eight of them. But here, and I, and I got these like a long time ago. This is when my, when my printer was working. So, uh, where are we at? Where's the friction pegs at? Again, this is just playing on a theme, you know? I'm not doing this exactly, but out of, out of the 200 some cigar box guitars I've built, I've never done friction pegs other than for the one with that violin, the fiddle. Do you see the fiddle series? That was sold to a very cool fella, chap. I believe he's in, what was he in, Kansas City? I don't forget where he was. Montana, I don't know, forgot. Um, but yeah, look. So here's what we're gonna do. Only I'm, I'm not gonna do eight. I might do six. I could do eight. I got enough to do eight. Do six, three double strings. I'm sorry about the quality of these pictures, but um, this was just to give me a, like a working idea of what it's doing. Again, this was inspired by my dude. My ocean faring Auslander. I might name this Bill Auslander, who is, um, I met this brother 
years ago. I'm talking like circa 1993, 94, when I worked for him. He was a chef from the Navy, a chef in a fancy, fancy hotel, and I was the bellboy. Probably a dishwasher. <laughs> I was probably a dishwasher. I was in my freshman or sophomore year in, in uh, college, Liberty University. Needed a job. Met this one dude who, who got a job at this place. He had to wear like the fancy white, I don't know what they're calling it. Is, with this, was that, I don't want to say cumberbund, but cumberbund. I don't even know how to say the stupid word. Just, you know, the fancy white shirts, and you had to deliver room service and put the little covered thing over. Anyways, this brother was originally a flamenco guitar player and then wound up playing. We jammed, and through the years, we, we remained friends. And then he played bass guitar uh, with Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, then called the Reformed Blues Process. And this brother is total Auslander. Um, and so he is the one who inspired this Baroque guitar idea, you know, kind of going back to like these, cool, these ancient sort of forms of playing. Um, and he's currently uh, working on boats, which is ironic, irony of irony, because I'm in this heavy ocean phase of my life. Sea Monster, I believe, don't get too excited. After I finish this build, we're gonna go Sea Monster, all eight chapters are done. I'm not some master reader. I wrote this little short story. It's a short story, Sea Monster. It's a short story, right, let me just do this real quick. Friction pegs. So I believe the time has come to show the world, those in the cigar box guitar community, more creative things you can do with your cigar box guitar. One of those things is, I wrote a short story back in 2020, in September. I woke up and I wrote it. I've never really wanted to be a writer or a short story writer, but I woke up one morning and wrote this short story. It's eight chapters. And I just, it is, the, you know, the, the idea just flew out of my head. And what it is kind of essentially is the sum total of a lot of different brothers I've known through the years. Um, their stories sort of like hodgepodge into like one giant stew pot. And so I'm excited about it. So it deals with the book of Job the Leviathan, the sea monster, and it deals with the Song of Songs, um, which was written by Solomon. And um, so, I don't know, it's just, again, so I've been working on this for, it's 2024 now, so it's now four years old. Look, here's the, here's the, the ship's captain's wheel, guitars, drums. This was originally where I was gonna write in the songs. Um, there's a Thomas Kincaid painting. I'm gonna get, oh uh, look, the lighthouse. There's a Thomas Kincaid, you ever see the Thomas Kincaid ocean? If you can find the, I'm gonna go find one today. As a matter of fact, when I get, when I get done doing this video, I'm gonna go find it. Thomas Kincaid has done some killer ocean scenes, dude, with lighthouses and stuff. Oh my gosh. Um, there is a US Navy, that was uh, John Moore. That was from a, a US Navy Dude, he said, if the, if, the, if the United States floods for whatever reason, so, <laughs> so, you know, it's just kind of like a sum total of all my work. So what's my point right here? Oh, here's the horse. That, that figures in the end too, the white horse. So it's done. What I did was I read it on camera and then here's the cigar box guitar tie-in. The tie-in is all of the music on Sea Monster were written on cigar box guitars. You've heard them in and out of these videos. And these songs, again, they weren't, the, what I basically did for the songs for all this was, you know, I, I, I recycled them. I built cigar box guitars for you. If you're watching this and you received a, a hot sauce guitar, kitchen guitar, basically what I did was I built your guitar on camera and then to sound check it, I quick uh, wrote a song over a uh, drum machine, a uh, drum beats. Quick, one, two, three, go. 
And the idea was just to stay creative, not over, overthink it, just going, just going with the flow. And some of them came out really kind of cool. Like Lighthouse Island. If you've heard a song of Lighthouse Island, dude, that's like one of my favorite songs. That and the song Come Along. Oh, dude. So anyways, those songs were written on cigar box guitars. And so this is like a spoken word, short story. I mean, it's kind of long. Broken up into eight sections. And I'm going to, they've been on, they're up on Sea Monster 1303. I think on YouTube. I think I got like one subscriber on there. So I just wanted to record them at the time I recorded them because I was in the zone of doing it. But I think the time now has come to actually put this out. So going back to washing dishes, going back to Noah's Ark, going back to friction pegs, going back to ocean imagery, going back to, let's do this thing. the end of the ocean. Before we get started, friction pegs. Essentially, to keep it really, really simple, this is staggered. You can't see it, but it's kind of going like this. So what I'm gonna do is, to keep it simple, you can get a tool for this, and if I get hardcore into it, I might buy that tool. But basically, you're gonna drill one hole first all the way through. So we're going to find out whatever the hole this is, which could be, um, like say this one. That is a 1132. So 1132 would be the first hole. And then you want to find the biggest hole. However, that's going to go like this one or this one. No, this one. No, maybe this one. No, this one. All right, so that one. That is... Probably what, three, three eighths? Three eighths. So, what did I just say? 11, 32, and three eighths. So that way, this one, this will go in there, there and stop. And then this will go in here, there, there. And then, once you get it all the way through, you're gonna drill a hole through here. Or, over here has it doing like the old fenders. You know, where you cut like a little slot in the top and then you can put your string in that way, maybe drill a hole down. I haven't decided. Richards, what? I haven't decided yet, dude. Why are you breaking? He's <laughs> backseat driver, dude. Just, can you please? Between you and Captain Hall and Mad Murdoch, dude. Remember, remember uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse? <laughs> this, this is like, <laughs> um, that was a good show, dude. Uh, me and Richard used to watch uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. It was a hoot, dude. All right, so that's the idea. Uh, I still haven't figured out this headstock came out so cool dude I don't want to trim it down like it's kind of going with the box but um, so what I need to do here in this video is pretty much mark these out one two four six and if I got all this leftover room maybe I'll just put the bottle up here or maybe trim it you know it just depends it just depends dude and then um I need to mark these out Drill the 1132 first, then do the bigger one back here, but only halfway. You don't want to go all the way through. See what I'm saying? You just got to go a little bit. And then take like a round file. Now you get my point. Like, where's that little one at? It's in this one right here. This, because this is kind of staggered, dude. See? And then I'll file it out, and then we'll just string it up, dude. And then, um, Ideally, it should work. So once that's done, oh, come on, dude. Once these are installed. We'll put the strings through here, button it up, put the cold seahorse. Sweet. And then that should do it. And then we're going to begin the process of writing music on this on this guy. Some ideas I mentioned before. I mean, I'm going to wrap it up, dude, then we're going to go. I probably won't do that on these, but I did have, I do have room in here to put this, oh, to put this in there. I do have room to put the Bluetooth in there, and I would have room to put the battery in here. But um, 
one thing I've learned in my life is not all of my ideas are good ideas. As, as painful as that is to hear. You know, but I could do this. You know, even like, look at this right here. I could put this Bluetooth, like, you know, like flush on here. So you wouldn't even see it. I mean, I got plenty of space for it. So we'll see. But let's just focus on this video, just the friction pegs and getting it strung up.
sky. Tears I cried for, like, yo, look. You know, flood you, big river. And now I'm going to sit right here until I die. All right, look. All right, so I don't know exactly where to draw this hole at. But the idea being, I know you're going to come through here like this. And you wouldn't want the string wind to go up here because then you're going to lose all your, you see what I'm saying? You're going to lose all your tension. So I'm going to plan it for it, the hole to come through here and then have the string, have the string like wind down, wind downward. You see what I'm saying? Here, let me show you. Right, so let's say that your hole came in through like here, like right up top here. You would want to, you would want to have these stack beneath that hole. So like your hole's here. And then see, it'll force these guys, it'll force these guys down. You don't want them coming up. So I think for now, I'm happy putting up my hole like right about here, up top. So where's that at? Don't you, don't start that tension, see? So that would be like, show me what you're working with. What is that? Watch my millimeter go blow. So let's say we put that one, two, three, four, five, maybe six. Put the hole like, put the hole, I don't know, dude. I've never done this before. So put the hole like right here, drill through here, and then start winding them down. And then you'll, uh-huh. All right, so we just saw that. We just saw what we did here. All right, so we're gonna do that. What did I say? Were you paying attention? What did I say? Five, the five, so we'll put them like, like something like this. Somewhere in here. Right across this five, and then it'll stack down. I don't know. These weren't too extremely expensive, so I'm not gonna waste money, dude, but. And yes, to answer your question, I did test fit one of these in here. So if this gets too highly obnoxious, if you get this build, and you're like, bro, that was a novel idea, but I'm gonna go here, you can still pop him out, pop him in. See? Bada bing, bada da, how you like it now, see? So, but we wanted, I just want to try this on this one like this, just for fun. Why? Because of the tension. That'd be cool to put them like this, dude. Put them up top. You know what I'm saying? No one tells me what the DSA thinker feel, dude, so I'm just doing them this way. As far as this goes, this length in here, I, I think I, some of these I, I drilled too far in, but, so this is a nice tight fit right here. It can go in a little bit more, but I don't want to go in super tight, so I'm kind of putting it in tight and then backing it out just a hair so it can spin and then it'll pull it. I don't want it to be too jammed in here so you can hardly even turn it. This one right here, I might have to do like a, like a redrill. This one, one of these went, went in too far. Like this one right here. This guy, look, he's all wiggly wobbly. You can see there's no more play in that one. So I think I, like the dwarves in um, the Lord of the Rings, I, I, I drilled too deep. I dove too deep in the dock. So I might have to do a read. All the other ones are, are pretty much perfect. Other than... Uh
Nothing ventured, nothing barbecue gained. Having played with this and broken strings, I'm here to report that you will not like friction pegs. You gotta be a boss. And also this, you know, this isn't a baritone guitar per se. Um, I incorporated some ideas into it, inspired by it, but this right here, dude, with these, it's classic, it's cool, it's whatever. Uh, one thing I was gonna try putting the gut strings on here, these, but they're not long enough, which is why I got these um, six string bass guitar strings because they're longer. See that? Extra long. So when I was trying to get up here, I couldn't get, this is a 26 inch scale. So, uh, and it's not even worth me even trying, I mean, it sounds good, listen, so far. But, uh, yeah, you're not going to like friction pegs. So I'm gonna pull this off and I'm gonna put normal tuners on here. Uh, go ahead and, and laugh, just, you know, go ahead and laugh it up, you know, with the wah, wah, wah. Hit it. Womp, 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 womp. And it's nothing really about playing with it and trying it more and more and more. Bro, we got, there's uh, little girls to feed. Um, there's shows on Apple TV called The Legacy of Monsters about King Kong and Godzilla. And I just, I'm on, on the episode two, so I gotta get this hurry up done. So yo, we'll hang on to these. Maybe one day, maybe one one year, but you know they weren't they weren't too terribly expensive, um, and I don't feel stupid. But I did want to try them. Done. So lucky me, this dowel rod fits in here perfectly. We're gonna backfill these holes. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna go with bass guitar tuners and turn this into a 26 inch, similar to this bad boy right here. See that? Kablam. Cause this is the same size as this. So I know that the bass tuners will fit on there. Um, and it'll look cool. It'll look, you know, it's called the workaround, dude. Not every one of our ideas are awesome. And uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm not, I'm gonna start crying. Um, so what you gotta do is stick him through here, glue him, trim, trim, sand. And then uh, we'll go a different route. So in retrospect, Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen started off with an idea. They're just ideas, okay? They're funky ideas. Uh, my my little girl's uh, BFFs are leaving for the night, and she's she is not handling it well. Uh -oh, I can hear up I can hear it up there getting hot right now. It's near the hot sauce guitar kitchen. So it sounds like my little girl is 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 gonna look like this. This is when her friends were here. Now they're leaving. Friction pegs. Friction pegs cause fr <laughs> friction pegs cause friction, dude. Uh, I would I would not recommend them again. So now I've tried making my own friction pegs. Okay. Tried ordering some some new ones. Popped a couple strings. I'm trying to go double strings because of the uh, Baroque Greek bazooki sort of concept. You definitely don't. Okay, so. We'll end this one on a, on a positive note. We get to now go to CB Giddy and go order tuners. And going to CB Giddy, that's fun, dude. So, friction pegs. Ordering new tuners. Did you dig it? Keep oil in your lamps, my friends. Watch and pray. Yo, I'm talking Murak Dale 2.0. Don't lock me down. I'm on the dance floor. That's what I would write.
Right chair. All right, down right there. No mask, no mandate, no facts, no death rate.